Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Sarah and this is This Our Experience. Today we're back with another review. I want to talk about Zoo the TV show. Zoo is an American drama television series that aired in 2015 on CBS and is based on the 2012 novel of the same name by James Patterson and Michael Ludwig. It has three seasons each and every one with 13 episodes each and it was cancelled after third season so I don't really know whether it has an open ending uh, or it has a secure ending because I only watched the first season which is what I'm going to talk about today so imagine the scene violent animal attacks are occurring all over the world against humans but luckily, we have a team of very different members of, part, of different parts of the world that are investigating on this. So we have Jackson, an American zoologist, and his friend Hebron as a safari guide. Then we also have Jamie, a Los Angeles reporter, and Mitchell, a quirky veterinary pathologist, and a French intelligent agent called Chloe and they all seek to investigate the mysterious pandemic as the attacks get very much serious and frequent. My personal opinion on this show is that this is really interesting, first of all, because it's not like any other thing I've seen, but it could have been handled it better. So let's just start. I'll talk about the beginning, the middle part, and the ending. The beginning was very much intriguing, like super intriguing. I was even scared. I was glued to the screen for the first three episodes. The, in the intensity of it was really there and it was scary because it didn't know what was going on. You only see the, um, the start of it, but you don't know the cause. And so you see, for example, it starts with a pack of clients attacking safari villages in Botswana and that's very different, it's something that you wouldn't see during the same time we have two lions escaped from a zoo in Los Angeles that attacked people and killed them this alone shows that something is going on that lions change their behavior in a way because you don't see a pack of male lions you see a pack of maybe one lion or maximum two males and the rest female but the fact that you only see like five lions males all together hunting for humans that's not normal then the team is formed by a weird dude that says that he works for the French government and that he has his ways to know what was going on with them and the fact that they were in a way related or connected to this and they were investigating so we have our team, our team of protagonists. And in all the middle part of the show, the first season, they go around the world investigating on these weird animal attacks. For example, they go in Brazil because bats are attacking electricity and bringing on the favelas without power. And so they have to find a way to basically send away the bats. We have dogs in north of Europe, don't remember exactly where, but in Europe where? they were tricking people to follow them and then they were and then they would kill them and eat them and so on and so forth. So it was very intriguing and I wanted to see what animal would change his behavior next and in which part of the world they would go. It's also very appealing because they are investigating, so they're trying to get to the truth, to the bottom of this. Why did the animals change their behavior like that and turn against humans? Well, in a way, they found an answer, but they don't really know how to solve the problem. Then we have the ending. The ending was very confusing and disappointing because it's, it, the show lost its realism 
even in representing animals in the first episodes they were relatively realistic like the lions were well made dogs too bats and all of that but at the end you can see the cgi and the fact that they were computer made so that was a bit a throw off plus you start losing all the sense of things they don't come together anymore so the attacks become more and more spread and just everywhere and even media start to notice that and so we have more attention on the effect but not on the cause the cause was somewhat related to Jackson's father but we don't really know how his father was involved in this and they just drop the thing basically they now want to find a cure because a corporation created all of this it's it's a complicated thing if you haven't watched it watch the show because it's nice if you already have watched you know what i'm talking about with the rating global thing and everything else but i don't want to spoil too much so i'm not going to get into deep into detail but if you want i can do that now let's talk about the problems of this show so first and foremost uh, the thing that I noticed the most in the app where I keep track of the TV shows that I watch, so in the comments of every episode, was that the actors were representing a different nationality from theirs with a very fake and bad accent. People were really mad about this, they really really were thrown off by this. I watched it in Italian so I couldn't really hear any of the original accents but I could see how that could have been a problem of the original cast, so if you watch in English, if you watch it in Italian, it's fine. Plus, there were some incoherencies with, for example, the fact that languages that were spoken in certain parts of Africa were spoken in older ones, and Abraham, the safari guide, knew them all. That was a bad choice in general opinion to just wanting to show too much, but not caring about it being realistic and coherent. Then there were some things off with the timing. For example, in the last episode, Jamie disappears for three months and she's in a coma for three months after a plane crash and she's rescued by a man and she basically sleeps for the whole time and everyone thinks she's dead, but she's fine. She just slept for three months. What the fuck? What is that? That was not clear whether it was two weeks or three months, but regardless, that was a bit odd. Also, other things like general timing and things happening or different species of the word was just a bit thrown off. But if you don't really know how things should be, then it's not a problem. And it wasn't a big problem for me, but it was a problem for the people who commented in the app that I use to track my TV shows and that is TV Time, not sponsor of course. But yeah, I like using that app and people can say whatever they want and they were pissed about this. Plus, going back to my personal opinion, the last episode seemed very much like The Strain. The Strain is a TV show, sci-fi, that I talked about in one of my uh, tops about TV shows with viruses and outbreaks. The general atmosphere of chaos and just fear in the city, that was very much like it. But the strain is way much better. And the time jump between the 12th episode and the 13th was really bad. Really bad. You just blink your eyes and like three months passed and you don't even know what happened. You wanted to see what was connecting in the middle, the 12th episode ends with a plane crash in which basically all the protagonists are on with the cure and a uh, jaguar and with an animal that I don't remember the name, sorry but I put the picture here and so they were there with a the cure so it seems everything is going to be fine and the plane crashes because of some I think bats that attack the plane and um, everything is lost, you don't know how they were found because they were in the middle of the ocean so how did they survive we don't know and we will never know as far as i know <laughs> so generally the storyline could have been under better but on a positive
positive sign. We have good character development for, apart from Chloe. She is just the same in throughout all the season and on the end she's just questioning herself like oh my gosh I shouldn't know how to read people, how to understand them, how their intention and but I'm just keep failing. I am the intelligent agent and I'm just keep failing again and again. And then she's just the same. So yeah, that was me mocking her. But for example, we have Mitch and Jamie. They have a very good development. So Mitch is the potty person that hates everyone. And that's why he studies animals and works with them instead of working with people. He discovers that emotions are good, compassion is good, and you can be human and interact with people without actually hating them. And Jamie started the show being obsessed with this corporation, the rating robot. She thought that they were poisoning and just doing bad things, basically. She was so obsessed with that. She was right. Of course she was right. Otherwise she wouldn't have been in the team. But her determination uh, was very high in the beginning. You could barely stand her in the screen. But then you start to liking her. You start liking her. And because she kind of drops her obsession and she uses her determination to actually find a solution and work toward their goal, which is saving the world from these animal attacks, but also saving the animals. So overall, I would rate this show, I think, a 7.5 out of 10 because it's good. I enjoyed it very much deeply. Also, a bit of a sidetrack, but... I used to watch it uh, nighttime with my cats on the sofa in the living room in the dark. So really, whenever I was watching it, my cats would come to see it. Also, yeah, to watch it with me, so it was kind of weird. <laughs> like kind of weird that I was scared that they would turn on me and like eat me or something. But they weren't influenced by the show, which is good. <laughs> and yeah. So I like this show, I definitely am going to watch the second season and I'll probably uh, do a review about that too if you're up to it. So leave a like down below, comment if you want me to review something else. I'm also reading the fifth book of True Blood, which I'm really, really enjoying. I stopped doing the reviews on that just because the differences between the TV show and the book was, were getting way too big. So it would last forever, uh, the video I mean. So yeah, if you want me to do something else, please comment down below, I'm here. Also change the background, tell me if you like it. And without further ado, subscribe, leave a like, comment, share, and see you next time. Bye.